Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah Wasserbauer, and I'm here to explain how hair cloning works. What is the concept behind hair cloning? Approximately 50 hair follicles or follicular units for a total of 100 individual follicles or hairs are taken by a hair transplant surgeon under local anesthesia. This would be about a 30 to a 90 minute procedure depending on the individual patient and it would require a surgeon to extract the follicular units using a tiny little punch. The patient's own hair would comfortably hide the harvest sites and he or she can go back to normal almost immediately. There's no long lasting change to your appearance and only tiny scars the size of a pinhead that would be camouflaged. Initially, these follicular units would be cryopreserved and banked until needed. When required, some of the follicular units, if there were a treatment for hair cloning, when required, some of these follicular units would be taken from the bank and processed to isolate the specific cells involved in the production of, these, of, in the, production of the hair shaft itself. These cells would be grown in culture in a licensed laboratory and they would divide and multiply rapidly over the course of about two to four weeks. The expanded cells would then be transported back to the clinic and micro-injected into the patient's scalp, wherever they're needed. Then they'd be expected to migrate to miniaturizing hairs and rebuild those thinning vellus hairs, causing them to produce a thicker terminal hair shaft. This would allow those hairs to regain a more useful appearance. In a later version of hair cloning, what is going to happen is those injected cells would actually be able to create a brand new hair follicle by a process called follicle neogenesis. Now, why is it important to cryopreserve your hair? Well, there's an increasing amount of scientific evidence that would indicate that hair cells and hair transplant quality decreases with age, in particular, right around the age of 45. Therefore, harvesting and banking hair cells at an early age will be expected to preserve high cell potency for future uses.